In this video, we're going to install and configure VS Code to use ESLint for the Node.js project and TypeScript. So first thing first, we need to install a few packages and they are TypeScript plugin, TypeScript parser, ESLint version 5 and the TypeScript itself. And we're going to install all of them as a dev dependencies. The reason we're going to use ESLint version 5 at the time of re the recording of this video, August 2019, is ESLint 6 is not compatible with the TypeScript for some reason. And I am trying to install ESLint version 5. However, you feel free to install version 6 if it works. And if you're just watching the video later, obviously, uh, version 6 probably should be okay and you can use it but by the time of recording this video version 6 is not working specifically with the TypeScript so now that we have all of these things uh, we can have a look at how it works and I have created the index.ts as a source and it's trying to pick up everything but the problem is now we are going to see that variable a it has been defined but never been used the same as this function and the TypeScript uh, and the linting should actually pick it up and say there is a problem but before we getting there we also need to add a file which call it dot uh, eslint dot and inside this file we're going to have configuration for eslint which I'm going to quickly copy and paste it here. However, I will leave the link to this uh, code and repository in my GitHub and feel free to just to go and copy and paste everything. And if you want to change something, just you can change it as well. So basically what we are saying is that for the parser, use the ES, TypeScript ESLint parser and also use the recommended rules for the TypeScript for the here and also we are, using, we are just telling that you can use ACMAScript version 2018 for the parsing and we are using the source type equals module which is allowing us to use import. At the moment we are not using any specific rules but we can. And one more file which is going to be, uh, I think again I need to do it in a root of the project. And that file is eslint ignore, ignore, if I can type. And here we can just specify what, for example, if we have a build directory, we just, we can easily say, okay, ignore, for example, the build directory. And it's going to be something like that. For example, we can say, if you see any JavaScript file or any things inside the build directory, ignore it and don't bother or also, uh, I don't know any pattern you're going to use so but before we go there we can just go quickly here in preferences and in a setting inside setting.json we can also add a few things and one of them is basically eslint dot validate and inside validate we are going to just basically add javascript javascript react and I think we are going to add more things here as well. And one of them is basically going to be TypeScript. So we can open an object and language is TypeScript. And autofix would be true. Also, we can do the same things with the type TypeScript React, which I'm not really at the moment interested, but if you're going to do it, it's exactly the same thing. The only difference is we can basically pay, uh, change this one to TypeScript React. So now by coming back here, basically what we're really seeing is the variable A has been used and the rule, as you can see here, it's eslint and the same as function add. So if I, for example, now go and add like 10 and five, now function add has been used, but there is no return type because we're adding two 
and now we shouldn't see any issue and coming back there again I'll just you will see that's an ESLint issue and ESLint is saying add is defined but never been used the same as a so if I just uncomment this one now it's all right so now we have ESLint integrated with Visual Studio Code in a Node.js project which is using TypeScript so what we did basically we installed TypeScript ESLint plugin TypeScript parser and ESLint itself and TypeScript obviously we don't need to be worried about this one at the moment and we also add the ESLint rc.js file here for the configuration and ESLint ignore which we don't really need to think about it at the moment and then we did a, a few settings here and the settings was basically this part so we are saying ESLint validate and then we're choosing the language TypeScript this line so we are just we are going to if there is auto fix we should be able to auto fix it otherwise we don't need to be worried about it but however we need to add this one inside settings.json and then this is it